What's going on, everybody? It is Tuesday. That means that it's our weekly reset. It's Taco Tuesday. It's also the very last day of 2019. It's New Year's Eve, so that's going to be absolutely amazing. Anyway, like we do every week on the weekly reset, we figure out what's new at the Ecos of the Olympians, what's going on with our weeklies, and what are we killing either a legendary ship or an epic mercenary. I'm Dark Strider, YouTube Assassin, and let's get into this. I want to give a special thank you to all of the fans who have been purchasing my merchandise. It, you guys are ensuring that we have a great upcoming couple of seasons that are going to be going on. Um, support the channel by all means. Please, if you haven't already, check out the links in the description below as well as the comments. And you'll see how to get your own merchandise to support Dark Strider, the YouTube assassin, and this channel. Again, thank you all so much. Okay, so as always, we're going to start over at the Eco City Olympians. We're going to go over here, see what Sargon has. And he has a mermaid figurehead for 80 ore, which, I mean, if you're going to collect the ship parts, that's what it is. And we also have the Mighty Harness, which is part of the Mighty Heracles armor. Uh, as you can see, it's a very good warrior piece. And if you have the complete set, you're immune to burning, which also is 80 ore. And honestly, I should probably alter this build because I do not have immune to burning. I just am not able to burn as bad as uh, anybody else when I'm like on fire or anything like that. And being on fire actually increases the uh, ability for me to fight plus 600%, which is pretty amazing. So, as you can see, I, I'm not burning very well, only because I have this set, but I guarantee you if I had the uh, Heracles, the immune to burning, it absolutely wouldn't even burn at all. Anyway, let's go over, let's see what our weeklies are. So, we have a couple, let's see, uh, Bounty on an Athenian ship, that is our weekly for uh, the, the legendary ship itself, so we're looking for the Trireme Salaminia. So we'll take that, and then we will look Charged Vengeance. This is our other weekly, and then obviously at the bottom is our daily, so Charged Vengeance. Let's take a look at that. Blood of our men is flowing, huh? Well, let's see. Let's see what the quests are. And let's see. Charged Vengeance. Uh, kill Athenian soldiers with swords. You need 15 of them. Uh, 15 Athenian soldiers with spears. And then 10 Athenian soldiers with charged melee attacks. Uh, this is actually going to be pretty easy, honestly. All you got to do is equip a sword. And uh, you could actually charge attack 15 of them. Or at least 10 of them. That'll knock out uh, 10 of the sword and, and 10 with the other thing. Or you could even do it with the spear. And then obviously you do it with the spear as well. Uh, what you're going to want to do is just make sure that like your skills are up on both so that you could be a like, more effective killer. Just because you're level 99 and you've never used a spear or a sword, that, that may cause a problem for you. You may run into some trouble. Anyway, so that's how we do that. This is obviously going to be, you could attack forts, you could go uh, just find them in the wild, or you could even do it in the arena, which is probably even easier. You could do it on a battlefield, like a conquest battle. But I, I really don't think that that's the time for you to be doing this kind of stuff. Um, I, but you could. There's an option. The charge attack may be tough on the battlefield. So anyway, we're looking at the Athenian ship. And let's see, the Salamina. Let's take a look at my ship parts and see what it looks like, being that I've already done them all. Let's see. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. Didn't even have to go far. So that's the Salamina ship design. And we'll take a look at it. It, it kind of looks cool. I mean, I like the blues. The blues really pop with the gold there. Um, nice symbol in the middle there. And these these sails are kind of like weird. But, you know, that's what that is. That's how it looks. So, uh, let's go attack it. Let's find it. Let's see. We're going to take a look at the map. And where are you exactly? This place is so big. I know a couple of people were complaining. They hope that... uh. The next game isn't this big. Look at this. I'm like right next to it. How crazy is that? All right. So I'm going to warp over there and then I'll come back into it. So that way, you know, you're not 
seeing air. We'll be right back. And this is how close I was as soon as I warped. Look at this. I'm right here. So we're going to go. We're going to get these guys. You got to remember that there are pirate ships around them. It's considered a pirate ship. Um, but not really in the game it is. Like the pirate ships will not attack it. They'll attack you, obviously. Uh, you want to take out the other pirate ships so that you have a clearer shot at the ship over there. And one of the other things you want to do is always check the bounty boards when you're attacking these ships and see if you can get a hold of one of those bounties where you have to kill like five pirate ships or something like that. You'll have two here and then you won't have that many afterwards. I don't know what they're shooting at. They must have thought that like I was a lot closer than I was, which is weird. And I always leave the ships like that because I like to cleave them in half. Because you gotta remember that cleaving them actually scores you more resources whenever you like take down the uh, ship. Wow, they're kind of tough this week. That's kind of weird and unusual. Let's take out this ship. Come on. So there we go. That was not a lot of resources, but I would have been a lot more resources than I would have got had I not done that. There we go. Now let's cleave this ship. We'll get all kinds of resources from it. I can't believe this is going so slow. That's kind of weird. Wow. I've never seen that. I've never seen the game lag like that. That was weird. There we go. That's how you cleave. I don't know why this ship didn't cleave. That was weird. I was actually moving in slow motion towards it, which is kind of wild. Okay, so there we go. Now it's cleaved. Got all the uh, parts there, a lot of materials, metals, things like that. They gave me a mercenary hood rather than the sail because I already have the sail. Um, the big draw for me was the ore. I went in, I got 44 ore. As you can remember, because I am the top tier mercenary, that's one of the benefits of getting, uh, you know, doing these uh, battles. You actually get 44 ore, you get like another 1% rather than just uh, 40 pieces of ore. So on a daily, I'll get 11 rather than 10. And on a weekly or these uh, legendary ships or mercenaries, I'll get 44, just in case anybody was like wondering about that. You want to go all the way to tier S4 in order to do that. Anyway, that's what's involved there. Nice cleaved ship, nice uh, materials to increase other things. I don't know what other things, but we'll find them. Um, other than that, that's, that's obviously how you do it. So, uh, let me know in the comments below. Are you still doing this stuff? Being that we're over a year in Assassin's Creed Odyssey, are you even doing these? Or are you just waiting to do the, uh, dailies, weeklies, and stuff like that? Just so that you could get the ore and whatnot. Let me know in the comments below what do you think of that. Other than that, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel out an awful lot. And if I don't see you, enjoy your new year. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, be good.